Hello everybody and welcome back to another Monday on Peppy Your Talk. So today is video two in our Do You series and last week we spoke about our negative voice and how we are shrinking the hell out of that bad boy in August. Now this week I did have something planned and prepped and beautifully ready and I have decided to change my mind. So I have no notes and everything's going to be completely authentic and come from the gut which you always should anyway. So I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy randomly speaking about it. <laughs> Let's go. If you guys follow me throughout the week, you will know that from Sunday to Wednesday, I was in Amsterdam and I was chilling and relaxing and eating and doing some work. No, I was not smoking. I literally have never ever tried that stuff before and I probably never will because I feel like I'm the one percent who will like die or something from it so yeah I've never tried it before even though I do class Amsterdam as my second home and I've been there about 15 times so um yeah second home definitely a second home but yeah I was out there with friends and it was literally because one of my friends reached out and she was like what are you doing this weekend and I was like mm, I have a few plans she's like well if you can cancel them you need to come over and not for any specific reason not for anything like there wasn't a specific event I was going over for it was literally because she just wanted to treat me and I was like I was a bit overwhelmed I can't lie I was a bit like why are you doing this like why are you doing this for me but sometimes we get so caught up in our everyday lives we get so in our feelings about all the stuff that we're working on that we don't realize that the people around us really respect and embrace and are impressed and proud of us and by my friend reaching out and saying hey do you need a break and i'm going to pay for it for you come out here and let's chill that literally showed me that she sees everything i'm doing like i don't need her to watch every single video i don't need her to message me every time i have an event it's it's days like that or situations like that that really show me that wow like my people have my back when i deeped it when i thought about it like quite deeply i was like wow although stephanie does not work for pepper your talk i genuinely feel like she works for dior and no, I'm not saying it like my friend is my employee, she's my PA or anything like that. I mean, she works for who I am. She works for what makes my heart tick. She loves me, so that means she loves my business. She loves my well-being. She loves to see me happy. And for her to reach out and do that for me, it really showed me that, wow, I actually really have some amazingly incredible people around me so that led me to this subject this random subject that has no notes and no prep so if i stumble and start chatting rubbish it's purely because this is not planned but i'm speaking about friends today and i have like i said great 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 friends in this series of do you i feel like it's completely impossible to fully embrace you and do you and do the things you love without having a great network around you so i scrapped whatever it is that i was going to talk about and now we're speaking about friends so what this video is not is a diss video we are not saying yeah that friend's bad for you and that one's always been a low-key hater and you know what you need to just get rid of everyone and do what Dior did and just find someone in the street that you like the look <laughs> no 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 it's not that it's literally just an appreciation video this is a disclaimer these videos can only be so long right so if i start listing off every single person who helps me day to day we go and be here forever and i'm gonna lose all my viewers and my subscribers because they're gonna get bored guys so i love you all every single one of you if i do not mention you today it's not because you're not my people it's because i love you in real life this is just youtube so i don't need to shout you out here okay right with that said let's go I definitely feel like friendship is teamwork. So if your team doesn't work for you, maybe it's time to have a conversation. And you probably thought I was gonna say it's time to kick them out of your lives, but no. That happens a bit too often where people are taking their lives in a new direction. They look at their circle and they're like, mm, she doesn't work for me, she doesn't work for me, she doesn't work for me. All of these relationships need to be cut off. No, don't do that. Like, don't, don't be so premature in those actions. Kind of reach out to people and have conversations because so much can be just handled and dealt with and hashed out with just speaking to people and getting things off your chest some of my friendships have almost been lost because we probably thought ugh f her f her let's just do our own thing but once we spoke and sat on level ground a lot of things made sense and i have had probably the same friendship group growing i've always added more friends but the same friendship group since i was about 12. so um yeah i'm, I'm good at friends i think i'm good at this friendship thing i think i think <laughs> 
on I am still a bit of my feelings with Drake about him saying no new friends. I do not believe in that. Like I fully embrace new friends. I remember on my first day at the London College of Fashion on my um, foundation degree, I saw a girl and I just, I don't know what it was. Maybe you can call it superficial, but I just looked at her and I was like, oh, I want to be friends with her. So I went over and said, hi, I literally pretended like I had something to do in the area that she was standing. And I went over and I was like, hi. And she was like, hey. <laughs> and I was like, what's your name? And she said, Brini. And literally since that day, me and Brini have been friends. And this was before Instagram. This was before her blog. Maybe she had her blog then, but I didn't read it. I didn't know she had it. I didn't know who she was. Um, this was before any of that kind of hot and popping stuff happened. So I just wanted to be friends with the girl and people would turn around and be like, that's a big friend. Like, Dior, you were literally a big friend. And yeah, if that's what you want to call it, then call it that. I beg friend of her, but guess what? When I spoke to her after that, she said the same thing. She said she looked at me too and wanted to be friends with me. But I think it was because we were in a new environment. We were in uni doing this one year foundation course where we knew that it was going to be hard. There was going to be pressure. And we probably looked at someone that had like a few similarities. So I looked at her and I could kind of reflect myself on her and she could reflect herself on me. And we knew that we would get on. So call it superficial, call it a big friend, call it whatever you want to call it, but don't say no new friend. In this life, I do not feel like you are supposed to connect deeply with hundreds and hundreds of people, no. I feel like there should be a few, a sacred few that you really go deep with and the rest of them, it is fine if it's not like a dying, burning friendship frenzy like that, that's okay because people serve different purposes in your life and i don't know if this makes me like super smart and clued up but from a very young age i always said my friends serve different purposes in my life and i'm okay with that i had friends that i could shop the hell out of oxford street with i'm not joking like we would start on one side and on the other our feet would be burning but guess what after that we wouldn't even have a phone conversation we wouldn't do anything together but we shared that bond on that level like our connection with shopping it's fine it's absolutely fine like don't feel like everyone is supposed to get you in your deepest most sacred and intimate part of your heart no it's not going to work like that um and once you realize that you're going to be freed of this friendship bondage where you're expecting everyone to be your like knight in shining armor no babes like calm down <laughs> it's not that deep with everyone and be grateful because you don't want to share that much of yourself with so many people like i said this video is so random and i don't know maybe it's gonna get some views and i don't i don't really care at this point i just feel like bigging up my friends today because you guys are part of the reason why i do this you guys watch my videos and help me and salute me i don't want to be successful without my friends no way i don't want to be the best out of my friends no way so we've all had these sayings where it's like if your dreams don't scare you they're not big enough and yeah granted that is true and if your friends aren't better than you then you need to move in a new circle now let's be real a lot of people and maybe some of you i don't know who's watching this for some of you want to be better than your friends how are you going to grow if you don't have people in your circle who move at a faster rate than you, who know more things than you, who have penetrated more industries and achieved more than you have? I, for a fact, know that I have friends who kill it way more than I do. You know, like when it comes to achievements and accolades, they are up there. When I look at some of my friends, they are like, 50,000 followers up more than I am, you know? Like, their businesses generate money already. They have been to some certain events and awards and all these types of things that I can only dream of being personally invited, you know, like, not as a plus one. Like, I wanna be the one with the invite, like. But they're already getting that. And I absolutely love that. Those are the types of people that I want to be around. Like literally in saying that, someone's gonna be like, oh, do you only want to be with successful people? Guess what? All my friends are successful. No hype, no joke. They literally are. And it wasn't because I did the it dip do thing where you're gonna be my friend, you're not. You're gonna be my friend, you're not. Uh, no, I didn't do any of that. Literally the people that I have chosen to hang out with since I was like 12, 
all my secondary school friends, college friends, uni friends, all of those types of people, friends I've met since then, all successful. Honestly, everyone is killing what they're doing. Everyone has an expertise. If I go along the line, I have a friend that works in um, wholesale. I have a friend that is a marketing genius. I have a friend that has worked for like a luxury brand doing HR and now has an even better job. I have a friend that is a PR guru. I have a friend that social media kills it. I have a friend who is a designer. I have a friend who knows the luxury market inside and out. I have a friend who is a blogger who is just one of the most mind-blowing bloggers ever. She does such an amazing job. I have, I can go along the list and just keep literally and i'm not i'm not making it up i'm not speaking about people who like i said i've handpicked these are people i have come along with like we are fighting to be the best us like all my friends are not fighting to be better amongst each other they are fighting to be the best them but whatever field we are in we all seek to be the best and some people have achieved higher rates of success than others and that's timing like our, all of our times are going to come but as it stands, I have friends who are better than me. I can look at them and be like, you killed that way more than I could ever kill that. Or, oh my gosh, teach me how to do this because you are literally the boss at that. I love that. That fuels me so much. It gets me out of bed in the morning, no hype. Like it literally does. I don't want to be the dead donkey, like the one that they're kind of pulling behind. So although I'm not competing with them, I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to kill what I'm doing. I'm going to do what I'm doing to the best of my ability so that when we stand in our little line, you know, when we do our little girl gang picture for Instagram, everyone can go along the line and be like, yep, yep, certified, uh-huh, blue tick. <laughs> you know, like we all do our own thing and we do it so well, but we also support each other. I'm not going to tell you to go out and get new friends. I'm not going to tell you, just, I'm not even going to give you advice. I'm literally just going to speak about my life today and do what you will with this information. Like I said, this video is completely random. I might edit it and look back and be like, whoa, I spoke some shit. <laughs> I feel like I've kind of cheated you guys out of the usual video I make because it's usually like five tips to this or three steps to that. But today I just spoke about my mates, my girls, my friends, my pals, and it's an appreciation, I think. I really love, admire, and respect all of you girls, no matter what you're doing. Some of you do not ever want to be entrepreneurs, and I love that. We need people who are in industries, and some of you are building your businesses from the ground up, and I know it's hard, so I hope I can support you in any way possible. And I want to extend my hands to you guys, because I feel like the Peppy Your Talk community, you guys are my new friends too. And the way you email me and reach out to me, see me in the street, you're like, oh my God, Dior, you fully have embraced me too. So I love you guys as well. If you're watching this with friends, literally give them a high five right now. If you have friends that you appreciate and you just wanna show some love to, and you wanna say, hey, Thank you for helping me do me. Thank you for appreciating me. Send this to them and say, do you know what? I was just thinking of you throughout this whole thing and you are my girl gang. Like you're my tribe, you're my people and I love you forever and a day. I wanna dedicate this video to my friend Stephanie. Thank you for being an amazing, generous and loving person. So thank you to anyone that's watching this because it has been a bit of a rambling mess. I have kind of just babbled on quite randomly. But um, hopefully it edits down to something beautiful. But thank you for watching and I'll see you again next Monday. Bye. And I genuinely... So one thing I do want to say is do not feel like people are going to... I don't know what I want to say. Let me touch this up for a second.